Are you considering a trip to Maui? We've been several times, but we just got back from a week's vacation and we were able to try things on this last trip that we had never done before. Different activities, new beaches, new restaurants. I'm so excited to share them with you in this video log. And if you like video travel logs, I do them on occasion when I get to travel. I also um, just did a try on haul video for the first time. I'm also doing monthly challenges. So if anything sounds interesting, I would love for you to consider subscribing. And let's move on to the travel log. We are on our way to our terminal. I've got my hula hoop. I've got my neck. Okay, what are you most looking forward to? Oh, so you have to tell me what I'm doing so I smile for a picture. What are you most looking forward to? Sitting by the beach and relaxing. I don't love to sit by the beach and relax. I mean, I like it, but I like to adventure and see things and go places. We made it to Hawaii and Nick is on the phone taking care of something that his words is messed up. He's still on the phone. Trying Jollibee sandwiches for the first time. They are apparently a regional favorite to rival Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. Mmm, I'm good. What do you think? I ordered this from Jollibee, and I don't know if this is just in Hawaii, but it's an ube pie, ube pie. Ube. Nick, what is an ube? A fruit, I think. A purple fruit. <laughs> purple fruit? Okay, I'll try it. Ah, uh, is it like taro? Maybe. It kind of tastes like taro. No. No? No, it's bad. Actually, yeah. <laughs> After about an hour's drive from the airport, we arrived at Papakea Resort, which is technically in Lahaina, but really located on the Kanapali Beach north of the town. Check out the view from our lanai. I felt like I was in paradise the whole time we were there. They don't have a gym here, so I actually ordered from Amazon a couple of 10 pound weights so I can do a few workouts. But the box was thrashed. Yeah. They don't have a bar here, so I pack the essentials <laughs> to make sure we be okay. <laughs> Weight and alcohol, we're set. Our first stop was to the local market where we got to see local eggs, fresh turmeric that looked like big worms, taro butter cookies, hmm, and of course the famous linghi covered candies that you can only find in Hawaii. Did I mention I was doing a 30 day hula hoop challenge? Oh, that's another video. We headed to Monkey Pod to have Mai Tais for happy hour with our friends David and Nicole, and then down to the beach at Whaler's Village to watch the sunset with all of the other tourists, which actually feels pretty magical to watch with everybody. It is 2.30 in the morning local time, and we got up early to go do the Haleakala sunrise bike tour. So we have to drive an hour uh, to meet the van at 4 a.m. <laughs> and then we go up to the top for the sunrise and then we bike down. But we're still in California time. The recommendation is to obviously do this on your first day of the trip because you're not fully adjusted. So yes, it's 2.30, but it's actually only 4.30 for us. It's 4 a.m. We're at the bike shop. We got our helmets and our Like garbage bags. Windbreakers. We had an entertaining host on the drive up, but a lot of people just slept for the hour it took to drive up the mountain. A hundred or so other people gathered with us as we braced against the wind and the cold, cold air to wait for the sun to come up over the top of the clouds at the summit of Haleakala Volcano. Also, did I mention how cold it was? The way the clouds sit in the volcanic craters and the sun comes up above them, it really feels space-like, like you've left planet Earth and you are on Mars or Venus or somewhere that's not our own planet. Soon after sunrise, Bike Maui had us pack up and head down the mountain where they posed us for some really cute photos. And then we were off for our bike fitting and safety review so we could begin coasting down the mountain. Check out that rainbow. And don't Nick and I look cute in our helmets under the rainbow. Now look to your left. You our Bike left. Maui tour guides really did an amazing job sharing local history, ecology, 
culture, stories. They were entertaining and educational, and we enjoyed them so much. They also did a cute job posing the groups for photos. I've never ridden backwards on handlebars before, but I thought these photos turned out really cute with Nick. Eucalyptus trees, they are exactly one mile away. That's our next stop. We had been divided into multiple groups to coast down the volcano. So this is footage of the other group as phones were not allowed out when we were biking down. Safety is a real concern and they do a great job explaining the rules, but you can see we are sharing the road with cars and we are coasting down at between 18 and 22 miles per hour. And actually the other group had one of their riders have a spill and an ambulance had to come get her. She was conscious, we saw her, but she was injured. So these were brought in 1974 from uh, Madagascar and uh, a pet dealer brought them in. I love that they stopped the bike tour for us to hold them. Our bike tour was done around noon and we were starving. So we stopped at the nearby Haiku Market for some amazing pokey. And then we were off to the beautifully located Ocean Vodka Distillery. Look at these grounds. David and Nicole joined us and grabbed a bite before we did the tour of the distillery and vodka tasting. And those rising vapors are what we know as spirits. We had a lot of fun learning about Ocean Vodka's process and tasting the different rums and vodkas. And wait, that's too much fun. Come on now, Sierra. Okay, that's more serious. That's more like it. After Ocean Vodka, we decided to backtrack to the Haile Maile distillery tour. Unfortunately, we had missed the last pineapple tour of the day, but we did get to go on the distillery tour. Didn't even know we'd be doing the pineapple Maui Gold stuff by M. Work. Look, I'm wearing my pineapple necklace. I challenge. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I need another pineapple. No, you need a different head. I need a different head? No, I need... Okay. It's because your hat. Okay, I'll take my hat off. There you go. It's a hat. I'm, get, give me a flat bottom pineapple. There's no flat bottom pineapple. We are in the Hali'i Maile neighborhood of Makawao. Sugar, water, and yeast, and that is for our rum. We had a great time tasting all the different vodkas, rums, whiskeys, and then happened to notice there was a glass blowing place next door. Um, yes, please. Once you got to the end of this walkway and looked down, you could see the artists working on their glass making. And yes, it was about 15 degrees warmer, even up above on the risers. I can't imagine how hot it would have been down where they were working, but I was enthralled with watching them work on their projects. There was such a rhythm and artistry and purpose, and I had no idea what it was. I was shocked every time a cylinder became a fin and something black turned blue and something brown turned red. I just was enthralled with the process. I actually could have sat there and watched them for hours, but I know the group that we were with was ready to go and was feeling a little uncomfortable from the heat, but I loved every minute of watching them work. And of course you could buy any of their finished products in the store. For dinner, we walked the literal two minutes from Papakea over to the food truck park where they had dozens of delectable options for us. I opted for Thai food for dinner. I was craving some noodles and it was delicious. They also have picnic benches set up so you can dine al fresco. I ordered those weights from Amazon, so I was determined to use them. Here I am working out while Nick is still asleep. All the wet weather meant lots of rainbows. We parked at Kapalua Village and then according to all trails, we were hiking on golf cart tracks from an abandoned golf course. Look at that beautiful rainbow over the hill. We noticed these beautiful blooming orchids that were just wrapped around the trees and their roots just went down the length of the tree. I looked up later on Wikipedia and apparently this is a way that they can grow. People can graft them to grow this way or they can grow this way naturally. 
At the top of the trail was a lake, and you know what lakes mean, ducks. And they thought we had food and started swimming and coming out of the water towards us. They were very excited we were there. Unfortunately, as friendly as they were, we had not packed any provisions to share. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I was gonna bring bread. <laughs> Nicole felt some of the behavior was not appropriate and she reprimanded accordingly. You are a mean duck, don't do that. You tell him. Nobody likes a bully. Okay, bye, friend. What a fun hike. Our next stop was the Nakalele Blowhole in Waialuku. It was pretty windy and blustery as we made our way down to see where the waves crashed into the blowhole, so we were holding on to our hats as we wove down the rocks. How often does it come? Oh, there we go. It was about a quarter mile hike down from the parking lot on pretty slippery and unsteady rocks. People were getting really close to the actual blowhole area, which made me a little nervous. They would never allow that where I come from in California. There would be liability waivers and all kinds of restrictions. Again, I could have stood there for hours and watched the waves crash against the shore and the water come up through the blowhole. But understandably, my group was ready to go. We did get a cute shot before we left. And it was time for pokey lunch, courtesy of Times Market, and get my hula hooping 10 minutes in, and then get ready for dinner. And we went back to Kapalua Village for a beautiful Italian meal at Taverna, which is right on the golf course. It started raining, but I didn't care because look at this cocktail. And look how fun, we got to cut our own pizza with scissors. Nicole was in charge of our cutting. Isn't she doing a great job? Nick was in charge of squirting our caprese salad with the balsamic vinegar. He had a little left over. No, Nick, no! No, don't do that! Overall, it was a great meal. It's a beautiful, about four and a half mile round trip walk from Papakea Resort down to Black Rock Point, crossing through all the Western resorts and seeing their outdoor markets. For lunch, we hit the fish market where we got the most amazing mm. shrimp burritos that actually lasted me two meals because they were so filling. We spent some time at the beach with the rays, but it did start raining. And so after a while, we decided to head back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, beach kitty. Have I mentioned all the wild cats that are just lining the boardwalk and waiting to be petted? They're so friendly and so cute. Do you wanna be on YouTube? You do? Phew, we made it home just in time to see another beautiful rainbow and this crazy view from our lanai at Papakea. It was raining, well, cats and dogs. Another Pokemon. The storm cleared enough for us to enjoy, yes, another Poke Bowl from our beautiful Lanai. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Unfortunately, you've just finished part one. So I thought this was gonna be one video, but it turns out it's way too long. So I'm gonna have to make this into two videos. I will post part two very shortly, but I'm dying to know, did anything I showed you here inspire you? Or is there anything different than what you've done in Maui? Or maybe now you're thinking about going to Maui where you weren't before. Please leave a comment and let me know if anything you saw was different, exciting, or maybe you've done it before and you had a different or similar experience. I would love to hear from you. If you are wondering what to watch next, I will post a video here for you to watch and please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. And go pet a dog.